This is Dr. Lam from drlam.com and the Juno Fatigue Center. One of the questions we've gotten asked is, should male be also be taking natural progesterone? And that question is quite interesting because the use of natural progesterone is oftentimes related and associated with women. Now, the question is, why would a man need to consider that? Let's take a step back. That the progesterone, its main action is to oppose estrogen. Now, estrogen is a pro-growth type hormone. And in the world nowadays, where we are filled with chemicals and environmental toxins and hormones, it is impossible for the woman or the men to escape hormonal exposure. These types of hormones, or what we call xenoestrogenic hormones, have molecules that are very similar to estrogen. So whether you are a man or a woman, if you take in these hormones, such as hormones from uh, animals uh, such as chicken or beef, uh, chemicals such as uh, petroleum uh, ingredients in uh, shampoos and nail polish, they all have this type of chemicals. And these chemicals derived from the petroleum have chemical structure that is very similar to estrogen. And when these uh, articles, I mean, these molecules uh, get into the body, they behave estrogenically by sitting on the estrogen receptor sites. Now, how serious is this? It really depends on the person. Most people have the ability to get rid of it, or at least a certain level of it. But if you overflow the body day in, day out with excessive amount of estrogen or estrogenic type compound, as we call xenoestrogenic compounds, as we mentioned earlier, then invariably the body will have excessive estrogen in the body, whether you are a male or a female. Now, in the female, taking natural progesterone can help not only to oppose the estrogen, but also to reduce the, the uh, menstrual symptoms, uh, such as endometriosis, fibroids, uh, uh, PCOS, and uh, uh, that type of stuff. In the male, uh, the prostate gland is also uh, can be vulnerable if there's excessive amount of uh, estrogen. So taking uh, some uh, 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 progesterone uh, can be helpful and indicated with the right circumstances. Of course, the dosage and the frequency are very different because the body in the male does not need the same level of uh, estrogenic opposing as that in the female. So in men, if indicated, especially for prostate issues and hormonal issues that is uh, well documented, then the amount can be considered. Uh, it is usually much lower in quantity and a, a cream form is usually quite good. Uh, normally, there's no downside and uh, especially male with uh, clinical signs of gynecomastia uh, and large breasts uh, may consider these things with the right workup. But it's not something that you want to just pick up from the, the over-the-counter and start taking it without any consideration. In the case of adrenal fatigue, then the problem is further compounded because progesterone is metabolized by the liver. So if you have a liver congestion, as is commonly the case in adrenal fatigue, then even small amount of progesterone can make adrenal fatigue worse. So for the male, uh, we don't find that the use of natural progesterone is so indicated unless there are very specific reasons. And in those cases, uh, it has to be tracked and followed uh, properly. So the uh, use of natural progesterone for male uh, falls in very different parameters as compared to a female. And if you do it right, it can be quite beneficial, especially for the prostate. But at the same time, it's not something you want to embark on without the knowledge and the supervision of a adrenal fatigue and a natural hormone a healthcare specialist. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drland.com where I've written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.